Welcome, Emily. Um, let's just say quickly that you're Code Pink's director of the social media and communications, and you're playing a huge role in organizing things from the Code Pink side of things. And if you can, um, we're really grateful that you could join us on the call and uh, um, tell us what's happening around Code Pink surrounding the Poor People's Campaign. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on and hello to everyone in Maine. I'm here in Los Angeles um, on the other side of the country. Um, but yeah, Code Pink has been working on a lot of uh, various actions to accompany the um, Mass Poor People's and Low Wage Workers Assembly and Moral March on Washington and to the polls. It's very big mouthful. Um, so we've been working on a whole series of events that will take place um, starting Thursday, June 16th, um, going through Sunday, June 19th, which is also June, uh, Juneteenth, um, to kind of highlight the intersections between all these uh, socioeconomic inequalities, racism, uh, poverty, climate crisis, and militarism. So we're kind of bringing this anti-militarism piece to, um, we're helping bring it um, along with you and a bunch of other organizations um, to the Poor People's Campaign and explain the uh, various ways that militarism uh, contributes to all the horrific injustices and inequalities we have here in the US. So um, starting on June 16th, we're gonna be having um, that morning, we're gonna have an action outside of Congress um, that's gonna be led by our national co-director, Ariel Gold. So that's happening June 16th and the morning of the 17th. Um, Friday, June 17th, we're going to be having, um, following a community dinner that I believe the Poor People's Campaign is, is uh, organizing, we're gonna have a peace illumination. So it's gonna be a kind of installation piece um, that we're all gonna like walk to following the meal. Um, then the 18th, which is the big day of the assembly in March, we're gonna be um, part of uh, the anti-war kind of contingent. And we have a coalition um, that we're, we're building. I think we have now um, over 30 organizations um, currently signed up to join us in this um, anti-militarism kind of uh, messaging. Um, and our plan for the march is we're going to do these big art builds, which if you're in DC the week prior or in the area the week prior, um, we welcome you to come join us in building our big giant props. So we're gonna be having a prop to represent all these different um, life affirming kind of services or programs that we would rather see Pentagon spending allocated to. Um, so we're going to have like a big house for housing um, and we're going to have cost trade-offs, like how much it would cost, for example, to end homelessness in the U.S. would only cost um, like, I think the equivalent of like less than two weeks of Pentagon spending. Um, so we're going to have stuff like that to really uplift those connections and the intersectionality there. So we're going to have healthcare, we're going to have housing, education, climate change, police militarization reparations, nuclear abolition. Um, so we're currently uh, trying to organize um, folks from different organizations into these different kinds of groups um, so we can have our messaging clear and um, you know inter intersecting with what the Poor People's Campaign does because it's all so very connected. Um, so that's gonna be during the big march. Um, we're also gonna be having um, some fun like peace garden kind of stuff where we're gonna have some painted pots hopefully and um, stuff like that. So really emulating the kind of local peace economy during that um, March. Uh, following that, um, I know this is a lot. We have like, I think seven or eight different events. Um, following that on the 18th, that Saturday, we're gonna be having an anti-militarism teach-in. Um, the location for that is still um, up in the air we're still trying to figure out where everything is going to happen, um, but we're hoping to have other organizations join us in, um, you know, teaching folks and educating folks about um, uh, anti-militarism through a creative kind of uh, mediums or media. Uh, so we're saying testimony, uh, we're having our peace collective, which is the, our 
contingent of youth, of people under 30. Um, they have made a zine that they're gonna distribute, uh, performance, dance, music, um, skits. We have some folks doing skits. So we're um, trying to, rep to uh, show that information and educate folks in an engaging kind of way that isn't just like pounding numbers at people. Um, and then that night we're going to be having a dinner. Code Pink is going to be helping organize a big community dinner. Um, and then following that, we're going to have an arts and cultural night. Um, so that's all on Saturday. And if you're having trouble keeping track of this all, which I do not blame you because it's a lot, um, I'm putting the link to our like landing page for these events in the chat. Um, so you can take a look there. Um, finally, on Sunday, uh, uh, the 19th, we're going to be having working groups for peace in the morning, and then we're all going to be encouraging folks to join uh, Juneteenth celebrations in the streets uh, that day, that afternoon. So there's a lot going on. Um, we're currently in the process of doing all our organizing, and I invite uh, Peace Action Maine. Um, I hope you continue to um, come and help us kind of create this anti-militarism messaging. Um, if you are interested in signing up to join these individual like events, um, not the Poor People's Campaign March because they have their own big sign up, but these other things, you can sign up um, if you'd like at this form right here, just so we know that you're coming. Um, if you want to get more involved, we can reach out to you about ways that you might wanna experience or engage uh, with the weekend and our events, but um, it, it's a lot. It's gonna be really exciting and we're so, so stoked for the weekend. Um, but yeah, also one more thing just logistically is we are going to be having um, affordable, it's, it's not free, unfortunately, we wish we could do that, but we just can't, but we're doing affordable um, lodging for the weekend um, that looks like right now it's gonna be in the Washington Seminar Center. So soon we will have that up on our site where you can reserve a spot if you um, wanna stay um, the night or two nights um, with a bunch of folks and it will be like a big kind of group sleepover type situation. Um, so yeah, a lot going on, but um, I don't know if you have any questions. That was a lot I went over. Yeah, you. there's a lot happening. I yeah. know that it, it's my understanding that um, there, there are gonna be some of us from Peace Action Maine that are gonna go down there a day, and a, a day ahead and stay down there. But for those of us who are gonna be on the Poor People's Campaign bus, they're focused on the 18th, I understand if there's going to be a peace hub and that peace hub can join the poor people's campaign for it's four hours, I understand yeah. that different speakers are going to, they're going to be prime speakers and then speakers from each of the states. I'm kind of curious when the main state person is going to, going to speak, but you might not know that Josh or Marcy might know that. Uh, not quite. We don't quite have the the lineup yet, uh, but yes, there, there's there's planning to be impacted speakers from each of the, I believe, 40 states represented, um, or as many as as are able to get um, get there. So great. Yeah, don't know the specific. All right. Any last minute questions? I want to be respectful of our time. I see that we've come up to five already, which um, is a little rude. It happened a little too fast for me. But if, if there are any questions, otherwise, we have a lot of great links that are put in the chat that I will save and share with everyone else. So unless anyone else has a question, John, I see you're unmuted. Do you have any question or are you just? Nope, uh, but when the opportunity arises, I plan to call Marcy and find out about the bus on the 18th and uh, I'm hoping to be there. Wonderful. And uh, as I talk with you, Martha, I'm hoping to explore more possibilities as to how I can participate. Wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you all so much. I really appreciate your presence here and wish you a farewell and having a great rest of the day. And I really, really appreciate that you, were you could join us and you can leave while I figure out how to shut everything down without uh, losing the chat and that sort of thing. Thank right. you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for having me.
Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Martha.